Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence, and today we are going to be doing my February wrap-up where I talk about all the books that I read in February. So the first two books I read were the final books in the Hybrid Chronicles by Kat Zhang, and that was Once We Were in Echoes of Us. And I'm just gonna show you the first book, but look at look at how awesome these book covers look together and all that and like even when they're like this they're different colors but they still match and I think that's really awesome but anyways my favorite in the series will probably always be the first book just because the idea of the series is so original so basically everyone is born a hybrid where they have two souls in them and as you get older, it becomes obvious which one is the recessive soul, and eventually the recessive soul is just supposed to fade away. However, we have Addie and Eva, and Eva is the recessive soul, it's told through her point of view, and she doesn't fade away. And basically, we have the rest of the series where she just kind of gets stronger and stronger and meets other recessive souls who haven't faded away, and there's like institutions institutions where they put them to lock them away and try and cure them and different things like that but honestly it's a really cool series and I love the idea of it and again my first my favorite will always be the first book but it was nice to see how what actually happened and see the characters develop the next book I read was Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld and <laughs> I've been avoiding this book for a long time because it's about a girl who is, I believe, 18, I think, and she writes a novel and it gets traditionally published and stuff like that. So, you might see why I want to avoid that because I thought it would make me angry because that's like the situation I want to be in but I'm not in. And it's told through alternating chapters where it has the real point of view and then the story that she wrote. And the story she wrote is called Afterworlds, and it's cool to see that. It was actually a very interesting story, and then to see the publishing side of it was very cool. I believe I'm going to do a review on this later because I did take notes on it and all that. So I, I think I gave it like 4 out of 5 stars, so I actually really enjoyed it, surprisingly, even though at the same time it kind of angered me because I want to be in that situation. I was kind of jealous. And finally, I read Love, Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. I think that's how you say it. She's also the author of P.S. I Love You. I haven't read that yet. I've heard of it, but I haven't read it myself. Um, this is also a movie. Obviously, this is the movie cover. I can't even find the original cover for the book. I adored this book. I haven't seen the movie yet. I need to. I'm probably going to order it off Amazon or something like that. Um, it's told completely through, like messages like that's all it is all it is is like letters and text messages ims emails different things like that we have like rosie and alex who are obviously meant to be together but they're never actually together together because you know one of them gets married then the other gets married divorce divorce dating dating children can't do it because they're on different continents, different things like that, and it's like, oh my god, I read this in a day. This is like 431 pages, and I read it in a day. I've never been so emotionally invested in a book. I was really upset after I read this in like a good way and a bad way, but I have never, oh my god, this definitely deserved five stars for me. And next we have the only book that I was like, eh, when I read it, it was um, The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. It is the second book in the trilogy of The Fifth Wave. Now, I read The Fifth Wave, and I gave it three out of five stars. I liked the story. I liked the writing. I just never really got into it, and I wasn't even going to pick up the second book in the series. But I was at the bookstore one day, and I was like, uh, it's not that big. Like, really, it's not that big of a book. And I was like, why not? I could use some, you know, alien stuff. And I actually forgot it was about aliens. I thought it was a zombie apocalypse, but then as I read it, as I got into reading the second book, I was like, oh yeah, it is aliens, not zombies. And I love it because, like, his writing is so amazing. Like, there are multiple pages where I dog-eared it and, like, underlined stuff just because his writing was really good. But I never got into the story. Like, uh, it's just, I couldn't get invested into it. And I was reading it probably at not at the best time where I was really busy. And the only time I got 
time to actually read it was like as I was eating lunch I was reading this just so I could have time and in between classes at school and so I never actually got to really sit down and just read it but also it wasn't really a book that I would probably just sit down and read because I couldn't get into it and I know other people didn't like the second book as much as the first book but I have a feeling that the third book in the series will probably make up for that because again look at this is a little novel and compared to the first book it's just it's a transition novel into the third and final book in the series so I'll probably read the third book just to see where it goes and last but not least I read The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand now this book I love Cynthia Hand is also the author of the Unearthly series and as you can see I have that whole series right there and I love that series as well so I was really excited when she wrote this because it's been a while since I've seen anything from her and it's about this girl whose brother commits suicide and it's kinda just how she deals with it and he didn't really like say goodbye to everyone he left a sticky note for his mom and a letter for a girl he had broken up with and you know all that and he had never said goodbye to his sister in a way or at least he did, but she didn't realize it at the time, and she couldn't remember the last words she said to her brother, except for the fact that he sent a text message to her, and she didn't answer it, and the entire novel we realized that he had sent her a text message, but we don't know what it said, and it's just, the way the story unfolds is really good, and again, I dog-eared some pages because I, I really like the writing, and I, I love this book. I gave it five out of five stars. Just the way it was summed up, you wouldn't think it would really get a happy ending because there is a suicide and all that, and I just thought it was summed up perfectly. But anyways, those were the books I read this month. I wish I could have gotten to read more, but life. Uh, <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of them yourself or what you got to read in February. And as always, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Mm -hmm.